It started like two years ago and it's been a wild, long journey. I took my YouTube journey very serious and intentional in the year 2022. And I decided to be posting videos weekly. So I started posting one video per week. And I did not envision getting to 1,000 that easy because starting it was rough. No equipment, no good lighting, using my phone to record even till now. What you're watching is from my phone. So every time I keep on trying to see how can I keep on improving on this. And it's only exciting, just to say the least that I have hit a thousand subscribers. Now I'm not gonna bore you with so many stories, but the exciting part of this is that I celebrated my birthday on the 26th of May. And I posted this up, like you can see here, and I just posted that and hoping, that I don't know how it's gonna be, I don't know what to expect, but this is what I wish that I would hit. You know, it's been a two years journey and I, I was already at 900 and I'm like, I'm very close, right? So just on the 4th of June, I was on my phone and then I started seeing the subscriber count go up and then it was counting. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> so the subscriber count counted till it hit 1000. And I'm like, this, this must be a lie. I hope my YouTube studio is not malfunctioning right now. So I had to go up and come on again, you know, minimize and clear the cash, come back again. Like, I'm like, this is serious. Okay, let me wait till morning to see if it is real. Honestly, I didn't know how to feel at that moment when I hit 8,000 subscribers. I didn't know, I didn't really know how to feel because I was like, kind of in doubt. I was already at 904 or 12 like that. And I'm like, just right now, this is to say I'm grateful and I'm really grateful. I don't take this for granted. I don't want to trivialize this. A part of my mind was like, it's not a big deal. And I'm like, no, it's really a big deal because it took me two years posting Christian videos, you know, making videos, making shots, and then looking at the views. And sometimes it's not encouraging. And I had to be watching YouTube tutorials and just watching other content creators. And I'm like, the reason I'm doing this is I want to reach out to people. I want to be a blessing. I want to share my knowledge of what I've learned in life with the world and my experience with God and the things that I'm learning still. I want to just share my life. This is what I am passionate about, sharing about my life and my relationship with God and hoping that someone would see a video that I make and love God too. I want to follow God. I want to be intentional with God because one thing I always say is that God is so intentional. We do sing all things are working for my good. It's intentional. Ooh, never failing. And we sing all these songs and we are like, we know that intentional with him, like he is intentional with us. He made us intentionally in his image. Man fell and he sent his son intentionally. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have eternal life. What a love. Intentionally letting go his son. That Romans had to tell us in Romans 8 that if God did not spare Christ, his only begotten son, but gave him up for us all, what else do we need from God that we cannot get? Can he withhold anything else? Because the reality would be if God withholds anything else from us, it means that he values that thing more than Christ because he gave up Christ. And I'm like, no, there's nothing else that God wouldn't give us. So he has given us everything that pertains to life. And godliness and this is the aim this is why i'm making videos this is why i am pushing to share the knowledge of christ that i've come to realize and you know have a relationship with him and i'm humble too it's a privilege that i have a relationship with this god as many as received him to them gave him the privilege to become the sons of god the power to become the sons of god that's john and this has become like a life journey for me and i'm like hitting a thousand subscribers is not an arrival because I had to just sit down in thought. It's not like I've arrived. Because to me, it is humbling, it is exciting, and it's encouraging. And I can only tell myself, I've not arrived. The journey just started. The journey just began. Like I've been on the rough road from 100 subscribers. I was so excited to get to 100 subscribers. And then when I hit 500, I was ooh, really excited. Yeah, but I need the finances. 
I, yeah, let's be real. It's hard, and I'm trying to get things together to make the video and all of that. Light is frustrating. Sometimes you don't have the light to make the video. And I'm in Nigeria, so you get the issue with the light stuff. So, and so many other things, the limitations of time, because I get to do, I get to go to work. And it's just been a wild journey. And I'm grateful to God because He is the one that gives me the passion. Because scripture says that God works in us, but to will and to do of His good pleasures. I believe God wants me to do this. So He encourages me. And I found myself encouraged such that I keep on posting videos. Even when I'm not seeing the, the views go up like that, but I keep on posting, I keep on posting the shots. I don't know what to expect, but before you know, people just find it. And I'm like, well, I got some favor today, but it's the favor of the Lord, actually. So the aspect of saying I've not arrived is a mindset that I've had about life, that life is about journeys, not arrivals. The day you arrive is the day you are done with every work you get to do on earth. Like you've arrived because I feel like an arrival mindset is a wrong mindset to have because it will make you static. It will make you stuck. And I, it could be a good thing that, oh, you feel like getting married is means you've arrived. And then you got married and you felt like you've arrived and forgot that marriage is a journey that you get to explore and know your partner better and get to learn a lot of things. When you were dating, that was a journey. Graduating from dating to marriage means the journey of dating has ended and another journey has begun. That is marriage. Same thing with goals in life. Like you set a goal and you achieve that goal. Once you hit the goal, it doesn't mean you've arrived. It means another journey is about to begin. So hitting a thousand subscribers brought that mindset again to me. I've always believed that. So I felt like now the journey has begun. Now is not the time to relax and fold my eyes. Now is the time that I want to give you more quality videos. I'm really trying to invest more on this channel to see how I can bring you the best, invest more in my time of study and hoping that God will speak to me and speak to you through the videos that I'm making. And to actually give you my request, I would really love that you put in the comment section the things you would like me to talk about, whether it's relationship, whether it's just your Christian work with God, how are you feeling about this? What topics in the scripture are you having issues with? Those are the things I really want to deal with in this channel. And those are the things I'm talking about. That is why I'm making the videos I'm making. And my theme for my channel is living life through the perspective of the word of God, which is seeing everything in life through the lens of the word, whether it's relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's career, whatever it is, because God is the anchor and the ultimate for everything in life. God is the one that is the essence of our life. So if we can only see life through his lens, then we can walk in purpose. There's no other way we can walk in purpose other than seeing life through his lens. How is God seeing this? When I'm treating people, how is God seeing this? And through the word of God, he tells us how God wants us to treat people, how he treats people, how he thinks of us and how he wants us to think of other people, how he loves us and how he wants us to love other people. Like Christ said, love your neighbor as I have loved you. That is the theme for this channel. So be it relationship. How do I have a good relationship? How do I have an intimate relationship? Because God wants to enjoy everything he has given you in life. There's nothing that God is trying to hold back from you and I. Everything that God has given is for our enjoyment, our usage. You know, I will just pause a little bit to Talk from the beginning in Genesis, if you read the scriptures, you realize that if you think and become curious, you just ask yourself, why did God wait till after creating everything before he brought man into the scene? Five days, God made the light, he made the water, he made the plants, he made everything. Then brought man into all this abundance. His desire is that you would enjoy and then you would take care of these things. God doesn't give us things in life, give us marriage and want us to suffer. It's we humans that have made a mess of things. And the devil is fighting, really. And the devil is not happy that God loves you the way he does. He is trying all his best to make you feel like God doesn't love you. And one of the aim of this channel is me unveiling the God of love to you and telling you that God loves you. 
you don't just know it. In fact, if you feel like he loves you, you only know a tiny bit of it. And you need to know more of that. So my dedication to this channel is to bring you all the best that I can from my own ability. And then I'm praying that through this channel, God would speak to you and you would get something from this channel. You'll be blessed. I would like you to do live with me through this channel because you're my family right here. And I'd like you to join in with me. And I would ask you, would you like to be my friend? Can we talk? Then drop a comment in the comment section. <laughs> we, we, we can be friends. We can talk. We can deliberate on things. And we can go deeper on this and really get to know, okay, why are you serving God? Why are you doing these things? So it is my desire that whatever is happening here, whatever God wants to use this channel to do, that it's a blessing to you and myself also. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And thank you for everybody that has subscribed. Thank you to all my family, for all the people that have contributed, you know, in commenting and encouraging me to keep on going. I'm really excited and I'm grateful for all of you, for all my friends online and offline. I'm really grateful for all of you. So thank you. And I'm excited. God bless you. And if you are yet to subscribe, that's your opportunity right now. Hit the subscribe button and let's journey together. I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye-bye.